up. We're gonna talk your face off. Talk your face off. To 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 talk your face off. Talk your face off. Talk your face off. Talk your face off. What's going on, everybody? Tony's coming in a little bit late today. Whoa! There goes my mic. So I'm just going to start off without him, because that's how I roll. I know, it's Pete B, the sunny p and I know I'm looking outside my slider here, and I've got uh, I've got partly sunny skies right now. It's nice having a little daylight still. Man, it's uh, it's been gorgeous. I actually got to work early today. It was nice. Had to... Uh, I, for, some, <clears throat> for some reason, I have like that automatic alarm clock. Like no matter what time I go to bed, my alarm clock goes off with seven hours of sleep. Like if I go to bed early, it's seven hours of sleep. If I go to bed late, it's seven hours of sleep. So it's like I just I, and and you know sometimes I can go back to sleep and sleep a little bit longer, but most of the time it's like uh, I, I just can't go back to sleep. So get enough of what i need so saturn five what's going on these old flapping lips no control rcs in the house uh rc jeep guy what's going on i don't know if you saw what it said about the baja ray and lmt's ready to go sm fabricator what's up everybody weather is primo in northern Car uh, Ca california nice nice what's going on al castro so we got a lot to talk about today we've got a. Uh, We've got some crawler tracks to talk about, actually. Uh, Tony's been working on stuff like that. We've got a championship race coming up. We've got some build stuff. What else do we got? Mm. We've got some, I like, figuring out. We got some mail call. We got some figuring out what we're going to do for dirt racing. <sighs> I have a list. It's in the description going on everyone so let's talk about let's start it off with uh what should we talk about first you guys have anything exciting that you want to talk about before we start jumping in i don't want to leave tony behind on everything so i'm kind of trying to figure out what i should jump on uh oh podcast don't know if you guys have been listening but we got some uh, new format stuff happening. Ah, thanks. Make stuff better. Listening to the podcast. Yeah. So I I felt be it's not that I fell behind on it. Uh, so I kind of had two misfires, right? The end of the season one was in a funk and I had like, you know, an hour and a half of uh, talk in the in the can as they say and i was ready to go i just never posted it i never uploaded it and then i did that and then later came i had some more and then i totally forgot about it forgot that i didn't post it and i just posted it and then i decided i was going to go short burst every day boom 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 so it's like a one uh a one what would you call it one topic burst and uh the goal is 150 was I able to find the parts for the B7? No, I haven't. I haven't looked anywhere else besides Team Associated. Um, but my gut feeling is that they probably haven't manufactured them yet in the aftermarket sense. So they probably are still... It says they're supposed to be out at the end of this month. Um, unfortunately, I have a race on Saturday. So unless our track gets them ahead of time, uh, I'm going to have to... Actually, that's a good point. I should probably write that down that I should try to find something that would uh, be an emergency fix. So maybe I'll do that. But we got the Ascent Fusion today. Nice. Nice. I finished up. a. I didn't finish up, but I, uh, I did a change. I'm going to wait for that. Tony knows what I'm talking about, but I'm going to wait to show that until Tony hops in. But uh, yeah, I'm uh, it's it's coming. So we've got championship turf, uh, not turf, carpet race indoor, and then we've got one more big race, and that is uh, the uh, interstate series race, the same race that we went down to uh, Portland 
now they're coming up to us and we're going to race together up here. So it should be pretty cool. First tent scale. Nice. Nice. The scent micro crawler is awesome. Yeah, those things look really rad. I have to figure out how I'm going. I need another 24. Um, and I'll show you why later. So uh, quickly falling in love with the scent. Yeah. I'll show you guys later when Tony's in. I don't I want to save that for him too. So we've got dirt coming up. Let's talk about dirt. Uh and I need to figure out a plan because I'm realizing that this eight scale hoopla is gonna get kind of crazy. And my daughter might be trying out some dirt also, so we got to figure out a ride for her, to, how to get there. Um, we're not sure exactly how we're going to be doing that. If we're going to be, she's going to try one of our eight scales first. We're new to eight scales, so it's it's we're all new to it. So she's going to try one of ours, and if she likes it, then I have to figure out something. On the podcast, we talked about one of the previous ones. Is it too steep of a learning curve to start out in nitro for a kid? And the question, it's a tough one, right? Because I think it depends on the kid. Now, I think my daughter has a ways to go on driving technique, but her wrenching, she understands the concepts. And I know that if we got like a, a nitro motor and she was able to take it apart, she'd be able to take it apart put it back together and understand how it runs so uh i think that would be something that we'll have to oh what's up niece <laughs> uh so we'd have to you know figure that part out now I, the problem with nitro is that there's no like novice nitro class right so it'd be going in and being much slower and but at the same time you're learning the the you know how to run it um it, it'd be one of those things where i i think that would be a cool like i don't know i think she would be able to run it i think she'd be able to tune it and i think she would be able to advance really quick um but you know going stepping into nitro it's kind of like stepping into expert class without getting much novice class so i'm kind of like eh. <clears throat> but on the other hand an electric car it's a it's a it's a big jump uh financially we'll find i'm sure we'll find one cheap somewhere the other thing i was thinking about was possibly getting a mojave for us because the novice class is a kind of run what you brung class in dirt and uh yeah nitro basher to learn it well i think okay so before i get into that uh, before i get into the the arma um it's I know the driving style is a lot different. I think she's very engineer. I mean she built the B7 from scratch and she tuned it and did all the geometry and stuff. So I think the idea of the nitro would she'd probably figure it out to the point where she would understand it and all that probably quicker than most people that are out there would. Um, and I think that that would be cool. The problem is, is that, you know, it'd be like starting at the back of the pack kind of a thing driving wise. Um, but it would be a cool experience and you don't see many young girls driving nitro either. So I don't know. The basher is cool. We don't really bash a whole lot. Um, you know, and so that's kind of the thing. That's awesome. She's 10 that she's watching. That's rad. Hopefully she'll get into some RC stuff. We're talking about a 12-year-old that wants to race, and she's a girl too. So the other option would be to pick up something like an Arma 4S uh, Mojave as a fallback plan. So it wouldn't have a censored motor in it, but it'd be basically you know a ready-to-run 8-scale buggy. It, the, the novice class is like a run-what-you-brung kind of a thing. So that would be something that she could 
run and get used to on the eight scale track we'd change it over to buggy tires um i don't know how much tunability there is but i'm sure there's tuning parts that you could buy for it and then if it didn't work out then we would have our unlimited u4 well excuse me u4 car we don't have any more we have one u4 car left so it'd be interesting to see if that was a good fallback plan or not uh, tony says he's coming in hot in a minute nice all right tony we got lots to catch up on so that's a question that i've been kind of mulling around the problem is i'm running against a time clock so we have uh let's see about a month to figure out what the plan is and which means that we need to have time to either build something or time to you know get procure all the parts so that we can run so that's awesome that you like to race cars with your uncle that's super cool that's how my daughter started in the backyard we had a little slash uh short course in the backyard and a crawling course and we would all go back there and race and then my daughter probably when she was mm, i want to say she was probably eight she built her first slash maybe a little bit older she built her first slash kit and that was pretty cool but she uh 10 is a good age you can start learning how to build some stuff build a crawler build a we we used to get the smt 10 kits she built one of those too so yeah <laughs> that rc jeep guy says he can't think of a harder thing to learn but once you learn it it's hard uh, once you learn the hard way everything else is easy yeah i do i dig that i could totally see that too so i don't know i you know i the the dirt track too is it's another thing for us all to get used to because it's a big step it's a step that's like you know you're going into like these massive tracks that are so big and it's hard to see the car like i i don't know how the pros do their the racing where they're actually getting the good lines and doing all that kind of stuff from so far away like so far away it seems ridiculous uh how far away that these are but you know I th i'm sure it's like anything else you get more seat time and and then things start to flow a lot better i miss the smt 10 kits too uh i was oh cool you saw her first race yeah she's uh she's been uh really into it uh if you go back and watch dalton's races too my son it'll show kind of the progression of uh how it was going yeah i miss the smt ten, uh 10 kits i was just what was it i was looking at something the other day and i was like oh, i missed that truck it was a lot of fun uh it was a lot of fun for the time obviously the lmt is like way better now but uh the smt 10 was a really cool kit really versatile for what it was we used them in uh two two solid ifs uh my daughter just turned 12. yep so but she's been doing rc for she started she was probably the first one of our like of my kids that was way into it and uh she was i don't know i want to say she was like maybe seven or six and uh what was her first her first build was a red cat gen 8 kit they had a roller kit kind of a roller like a almost it was not fully assembled so she did that and then after that her next build was a oh, i think it was the smt 10 build was a uh... hey what's going on hey sorry about that oh you, you were on a call you were out fishing in your fishing shirt <laughs> nice try i'm on a work call ah, for the boat there i'm brighter <laughs> my boat's not out yet so I oh, wish. okay all right. all right all right i wish i wish so we were getting asked mir deep has his uh niece in in the oh, in the chat and she's 10 years old oh, so cool. i was giving her some uh she was saying what's her favorite car right now i think her favorite car is probably her race car uh she used to have a drift car that we won a body on and it was it won a body for it and it was uh the old trans am and it was painted all purple and had a brightly colored thunder chicken on the front it was pretty cool 
So that used to be her first one. If you're late, you need to bring donuts for everyone. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so yeah, I think her favorite car right now is her race car. Uh, or it actually, I take that back, it's probably my son's race car that she built for him. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hey, man. What's up, Crawler Tracks? Hey, so something I was going to talk about later is I've been building my Crawler Tracks. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use them tomorrow night at home group. Nice. We have a crawler home group for our church. So. They're so good. <laughs> <laughs> it the shocks me how good they are. But yeah, so we're going to set up. So there were more kids than I'd pictured being in it. Because usually when you say like mini RC crawlers, it's like a bunch of old dudes show up. Yeah. So, um, But they had a bunch of kids, which was great. I loved it. But their attention span for my little crawler course is not great. So being able to take these crawler tracks pieces and spread them out in a long, like, kind of race run through the house. Yeah. Where they get to drive long distances and keep them going is going to be way more fantastic. Yeah. Like bring over the little falling bridges and. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. So they've been going to get, uh, going together really well. So. Nice. Um, I will say they do not hurt your hands to put together like other ones that I've done in the past <laughs> that hurt trying to push them together, like to, to seat them. Yeah. And I was dreading it. And these have gone together so well. Nice. So, yeah. Nice. I feel dark. So I look different. Dark? You do look dark. The blue is there. You didn't, you were not, that's better. Okay. I was like, like in the shadow. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yep, that, that's so, exciting. That'll be cool to see, or not only to see, but to you know have people have those different things to do. Yeah. I got something related to that that I have got to figure out. How I'm going to do it now. Um, oh, you got really loud. It's because I was right up on the mic. Leaning over it. Yeah. Sorry. So I got some stuff that I got to figure out how I'm going to do because I don't have a donor car for it. Hmm. But I got this in the mail. Hard body for SCX24. It says it's 18 scale, but it's not. But what's cool about it is it's a little kit. And this little kit, I haven't really opened it yet. I went through it a little bit, but it's got like all kinds of cool stuff here. Um, but it's like a, it's like a model, like a full on model that I have to build. Check it out. It's all like tan, like the, like, you know, model plastic kind of a thing. So it says it's for SCX 24, but that looks huge. Yeah, it does look big. It says it's a 118. Wide is what it looks. 118 yeah. is the 124 scale. No, I know, but it's FMS. Well, it says it's a 118th Galonade or whatever. Jalonade. Jalande. Oh, yeah. So the videos I've seen is, it, I mean, the tires are supposed to tuck. So. But now, like I said, but now the problem is I don't have a donor for it anymore. So I'm going to have to figure that out. And and I messaged them and I said, hey, what is this best wheelbase for? And I didn't hear back yet. So it's large, but it actually works with the wheelbase. Tires are nice and tucked like stock. Okay. B. Kochner says he's built one. He has a good video on it. He says, I'll have to go check it out because I want to make it. I'm trying to figure out what color I want to do. I think I want to do like the turquoise with the brown, uh, what's it called, patina to it. Um, but then I got to figure out tires. So what what did you use for a donor? Is it a deadbolt or it looks like or a C10 wheelbase maybe? I don't know. Um the for which one this this car it says it just says axial scx 24. it could be anything 
I know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. I don't I know would what guess the Jeep would be the one that they would base it off of, but who knows? Yeah. I don't know. Looks pretty cool. C10, yeah. Or C10, yeah. yeah. Okay. That would be the or Jeep. Deadbolt, he says. Or Deadbolt. Yeah, it's still the same length. It just changes where. Yeah. It's pretty so cool. The, hatch, the wheelbase will be the same, but where the breakover is will be different. Okay. Because I don't the, think I don't think that's going to matter on this. I think this is just a pretty car to actually matter where it would mount. Uh, what and not really. Um, so it comes with this sweet little scale bumper, but you have to assemble it. You would hate this, maybe not, but it's like a lot of building and a lot of tiny building. <laughs> That's awesome. She's using her uncle's phone to chime into the chat. I like it. So I've got to figure that out. I've got to figure out kind of what I'm going to do with it. Um, I think it's going to be part of the first runs of my tiny scale park back here when we redo it after the weather dries up a little bit. Yep. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use for a power plant on it. If I'm just going to keep it stock. Maybe put a baby Goliath in there or something like that. Did you get those back in stock, the baby Goliaths? Oh, I got a bunch, yeah, this okay. time. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Sorry, I'm still trying to... F I'm listening, but I'm also... So, <laughs> we we lost our drummer for Easter. That's kind of a big deal. And so my whole day is gone. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So, um, not a big See, deal. Are they okay? Yeah, they're heading to Tennessee. Everybody's leaving. <laughs> they realize, like, oh, we all get off on, like, Friday, so let's get out of town and yeah. enjoy the South for much longer. <laughs> so, Oh, I see. It's not like we lost them, like they didn't just, like, die. Oh, yeah, we didn't, like, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You're like, I said that know, wrong. We lost our drummer. No, he, he was just like, hey, I just realized I'm not going to be there. I'm going to be in Tennessee. Which is yeah. good. Like that dude puts in so much, so much time playing. So I'm glad he's getting to go. It just, you know, everybody if they ha aren't already playing, somebody else has already like hired them to play. Like we're, you, mm -hmm. could, you know, rent a drummer for Easter is a kind of a thing I think. So everybody's <laughs> booked or leaving town. Most are leaving town. It's like, oh, we're not on. We're gone. Like, no. Call anyway. up KLN. Fly, fly like KLN out. Me. If you see me yeah. kind of bouncing, it's because I'm getting somebody pinging him like, nope, I can't do it either. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yep. You're good. I totally understand. You'll have to fly KLN out. He plays drums. There you go. He'll be yeah. your he'll be your little yeah, drummer boy. My screen keeps on seeming like I keep on dipping. Yeah. So tell me about your uh Thursday night micro. Did you lose again? Uh, I did. I did so good too. I did so good and lost. Jeff Spear, he can vouch for my six. I got a six. And Travis, I just saw Travis popped in. He was scoring me. He was my judge. Yeah. And I did class four this time. I don't know why. What's class I'm four? Playing. It's four steer. Oh, okay. All the bells and whistles. That's not class three? No. Class, mm -hmm. no. Ours is class one is stock. Class two is slightly modified, brushed, small tires still, stock chassis. Mm -hmm. Bumpers, maybe? I don't know. I'm <laughs> trying to remember some of the other rules. No, class three for us is like two, you know, two steer balls to the wall, like whatever you want to do to it. So, yeah. Then four steers, class four. That's like fully. Just... Yeah. Anyway, I decided to do that, which is my hard park car, which is so good. I love that. It's longer than I wanted it to be. Yeah. But it does so well. It, there's every once in a while it gets twisty because of the length. Mm -hmm. Like it'll just kind of bite and just start to wrap those mm. things will twist. But um, I really like it. For nice. The, for how it handles. Nice. There's other benefits in other areas that I get from it. So anyway, um, I got a six. Like it was a really good score. I basically mm. had three winches, mm -hmm. no gates, no reverses. 
And one at the end was stupid. Like it was a roll over dumbness that happened that I wasn't paying attention. I rolled it. Anyway. Um, you know, it would probably lower your score. Not using, better. not using scramblers. Oh, no. The scramblers were hooking up, dude. <laughs> With the pine trees in them. Yeah. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Brass wheels still. And I was, I was doing it first because I was going to do class three, which I wanted to get a test for the track first and see what yeah. it was going to be like. And that was my test truck. And I did so well. I'm like, yeah, I ain't running class three because it's going to suck. Like the scores in class three were much higher. I'm like, not. Nah, yeah, I'm just, I, so, oh, I didn't, I comped the bug. Oh, you did? Scale. I comped two 10 scales. Wow. We can talk about that in a minute. But anyway, so yeah. So Yeah, I want to hear about scale, that. Class four. We'll talk about you for a little bit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> class four did. Fan, I took second. Yeah. I took second. That's that's good. You know, you know who ruined my day? Guess who ruined my day? I got no idea. Mr. 24th scale himself. Dana. Go, man. Go. Uh, yeah. I got like a zero or something stupid. It wasn't a zero, but it might as well have been because it was lower <laughs> than six. Thanks, Jeff. Gosh. I know. I know. I'm the, I'm the best. tires did good, actually, on his course. They were they were good. I bet you it was, had something to do with the warmth, too, because those tires are kind of soft, like, oh, grippy yeah, wise. Oh, cold. Yeah. Outside. And it was dusty and, like, slick. Like, mm -hmm. I haven't done anything to maintain it. Yeah. They were so how'd it go? Up on his... Was it pushing still? Not as bad. Okay. A little bit. Not okay. as bad. Okay. Because nice. the tires were hooking and pulling. They yeah. Weren't pushing, they weren't sliding. What so, class did you have to do for that one? Right in your guys? 4.75. It's not Plus like two. super. Um, it's, it's like modified rules for Thursday night. It's not like a oh, okay. comp comp night. It's like a. Nice. How'd you do? Tires. tires. I um I got a forty something, so I hit four gates. But mm. I also like I didn't really take winches because I wanted to see what the truck could do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Have you ever done that where it's like yeah, oh, well, for sure. I could just winch everything, or I can just see what this is capable of, and so yeah. that's more where I was at. It's like having more fun. Did you do it on two S again, or did you go three S this time? Why well, yes, because I saved my three S that I had to run in my. <laughs> other truck that I, I was more confident in. So <sighs> thanks, Mirror. You got a better than a six with your eight. Oh yeah. His 18th scale on the 10 scale course. The gates are freaking oh, wide, of course. Yeah. Go through sideways. Yeah. Um <laughs> uh, okay, so he's building some uh, hard parks. Yeah, dude, they're they're legit. Uh, but Go Man Go has got that new red cat. He didn't even run it out of the box. He tore it down, made it wicked. Like, which one? The ten scale? No. Oh, the eighteen scale mm. ascent. Yeah. He just, like he made it really good. Nice. So the VRD got a twenty. It could have got a zero. Really? Could have. The I, I could have got a ten. So the or a two, it probably would have got a two. It hit this stupid one coming down like a simple, easy thing, and it just dropped on these wood things and just shimmied over and hit. And I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like we're running an awesome zero, and then like this easy gate, it it dropped weird on a board and kicked over. But what's it? And you're and you're driving. At that point, I'm already at ten points. I'm not going to take a winch on yeah. the next gate. I'm close to. Because Do you guys get scale points? No. Oh, okay. No, it's just straight comp and for gates, basically. It's easy. That's easy the, rules. Yeah, that's a disadvantage for the bug because the bug's a little heavier up top because it's got the plastic body versus yeah. the Lexan body. Even though it's light, it's still a little heavier up top. Yeah. Anyway, so the VRD was doing wicked. Like, I was nice. just following everybody. Not, I mean, it was just like dialed. Hitting yeah. Stuff. And then that one where it just kind of dropped, it's basically going down board stacked. And I was just coming down easy and it just kicked over and hit. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, that's the worst the we dumb gate hit. And so yeah. then the next one, I'm like, well, I'm already not even in third place. So I'm not going to take a winch. How don't like, so if I'd have done that, I would have gotten probably a two because I would have winched on the yeah. next gate that I was so close to if I wouldn't have got the dumb gate. Yeah. But um, yeah, 
anyway. Uh, hey, Mir, that's awesome. Super Your cool. Ears are awesome and great, and I love them. But She's yeah, talking so about mine. The, the VRD, <laughs> the VRD is a legit crawler, dude. Like, just built box stock like Travis did for me. Yeah, it's unbelievable. That's cool. That's uh, cool. But the bug, like, I wasn't gonna do it, and then we, he and I were driving. He actually drove it too. I'm mm -hmm. like, it's not bad. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, Dude, cracked, I, I did crack the top I, what i cracked it the body the upper part it it took a pretty good tumble not comping but in a different spot yeah he's got this huge mountain that i was trying to to go up and yeah did it like break chunks off or just crack? no it just cracked so i can like glue it and yeah reinforce it but yeah well i'm telling you dude if you run that thing on 3s it's gonna be a whole different animal that's a whole different animal on 3S. It's still not a VRD, but I, I, I believe you. Mm, I, 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 think it, I think it'll give it a run for its money. No, the clearance of the... No. Mm, maybe, yeah, the clearance nope. is probably different. The steering... Nope. Yeah, no, the steering's pretty, pretty sharp. Steering's and the VRD sharp. comes with weight, dude. Like yeah, it's, it's got down low, yeah. Meth, you know, those knuckles and stuff. Yeah. Anyway, it did really good for me just yeah. kind of never having driven it. Yeah, yeah. Just going for it. <laughs> Price just went down on the bug. <laughs> <laughs> no Carfax report. I will sign that thing where it's cracked. <laughs> and the price is doubled. Yeah. <laughs> just send me a whole bunch of just random crap in the box. Yeah. To do. That's what I did to him. Yep. Hey, here's a bunch of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. That's what yeah. I wanted. Yeah. The, yep. VRD, the VRDs are like, I want you to be able to drive it sometime. Like, Mm -hmm. it's different i think than any of your stuff because yours is so big and heavy and what like it just it it handles like our 24 scale little like flexi crawlers yeah yeah it handles just like that but on the big stuff it's insane yeah 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 it just hugs that I, I, so that's what i, I describe it is it's like it just hugs the ground and just that's turns. that's what i like about the phoenix does that the Phoenix does that, and but it is a different. I mean, it's more heavy and it's more wide and all that kind more of stuff. More trail built, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it does do that. It's way predictable. The, you know, I hope this. I hope Harley's not in the chat. I don't think the Ford Ice really performed well for me. Oh yeah, Stock. you got a Ford Ice. Yeah, I don't think it performed well for me. Stop. He's gonna pop in. He's listening. Yeah, wait. And you just, just well, hey, the dragon. But I feel validated because he had a thing going about. Well, that's important what, in 2024. That well, you validated. <laughs> I'm good. I'm so yeah. glad to hear that. Well, he I mean, had a poll going for what uh, hood he should buy, and I I sent him a message. I was like, hey, these are the two hoods I run. They're pretty good, and I was and I told him why because I have like, for me, my welding hoods are like cameras right like i have different ones for different purposes and uh the, the miller one that i have is like a cadillac it was a cadillac like four years ago yeah. and it's still pretty good and it's like it's it was nice and i saw he got one so i was like good job harley good job so speaking do i have a picture of it in here hold on do i have a picture that i could share no, I don't. I have to send it to my computer. I was going to send a picture of of what I sent you earlier of the welding. I thought I heard someone come downstairs. It did. It was a creak. I'm just waiting for you to get stabbed. I know. Three, two. <laughs> Here, so I know. It's like, what's going on? Someone's stabbing me from behind. Yeah. Uh, is this the picture? This is the picture. So we started the. Where is it? I was looking for a really funny picture to send Harley for his helmet. I was looking for the worst possible helmet that you could get. <laughs> yeah. And there was somewhere like people had like cardboard boxes with glasses pushed. Through yeah, yeah. And they're welding, uh -huh. and they've got this like. Basically, waiting to catch on fire. Yep. I'm like, eh, that's funny. I'm not gonna send it. 
uh, SM Fabricator said he was trying to convince Harley to get a speed glass. That was the other one that I told him about. So I have the speed glass like 9,000 something, which is like a super nice hood. And it's got the side visors on it. Yeah, that's the one I've got. Uh, it's got the side visors on it so you can see through the side. Good, And it's super light. It's just the window isn't as big as I my just Miller. Squint really hard when I do it. <laughs> I know. That's what I told him. I was but like, I just squint. Take care of the wrist. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, just squint. Now, well, you know what's funny? People, unless you're old school, people don't believe me on this. Um, all right, have a good night. Thanks for yeah, stopping have a good in. Night. Ten forty. Oh, she's East Coast time. Yeah, it's Ooh. late. Yeah, it's late. So, on TIG welding, I actually use passive. If I have to be like super detailed, I use a passive gold lens ten shade lens. And meaning it's just flipped down. It's not a, it's not an auto darkening. And that gold lens, like you can see everything. It's like seeing an HD. The only thing is you have to flip it down, but it's like super, super, then super you like halo or something cool. Yeah, it is actually. It's funny because mine, mine's all green. It's like a bright green, and then I have my put my gold, gold on the front. Yep. Yeah. All right, I was gonna show you what I started, what I started Welcome on to here. Nerd talk. Nerds. Nerds. Yep. There it is. That is. Oh, my back. There I am. That's the back's uh, pre runner cage for the SCX6. And it is massive. I thought I had a better picture of it when I had the full triangle box done. I think the but... zip ties really set it off. <laughs> yeah. Well, that'll be on World Wednesday. So. Nice. Be looking forward to it. So it's funny because the material's so much more thick than uh, it looks I'm used massive, to. dude. Dude, it is massive. It's the same thickness as the material. Uh, I know. Yeah, it's a, it's the same material as what the plastic cage is. It's just in steel. Gosh, it's gonna be so heavy. Yeah, tires are already flexing. Like they're like, I hate you. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, on that material, uh, so I'm not Mike. Yeah, I know, right? On that one, Mike, I'm using solid because it's going to be a uh, swing arm suspension on the front. So we want a lot of weight, center mass, and back of the rear axle so it'll float. Uh, but it's solid 5 sixteenths, I think. Pretty sure it's 5 sixteenths. So it's, it's a little thick, a little thicker than quarter. Look like snowblower tires. I know they're huge. That's it. But it's pretty cool. In a 24 scale one first. <laughs> yeah. you make a 24 scale like that. Dude. Right. That would suck. That would be amazing, actually. <laughs> no way. It'd be terrible. No, it'd be so good. In slow motion. Everything looks good in slow motion. The only thing that would be good about that is using like the stock axial shocks before they were oil. Because <laughs> they're just flopping around, like yeah. for the front end. That's about yeah, yeah. No, the back would be good, except you need the dual so that really drops out and just like keeps dropping out. Yeah. So my neighbor, mm. oh, I can't reach it. My neighbor powder coated when he powder coated the Baja right Ray cage for RC Jeep guy. He powder coated another cage that I've been working on for a long time. For this, that remember how I got that uh, base camp kit a while ago, like last year. Mm -hmm. So I've been sitting on it half built, and I've been kind of tooling around with it. And I used half of a pre runner cage and another cage that looks like a Gen Right cage that I built to go into this Endura plastic body, hard body Jeep, mm -hmm. and. Uh, it's finally at a point where I can assemble it. So I'm like, oh, sweet. That's cool. For the rest of the show, I, though, I just want to talk about how much better than you make stuff better is. Yes. Um, okay. <laughs> I guess I'm doing a 20. <laughs> He's doing a 24 scale pre runner trophy truck, and he has four videos on his build so far. Nice. And you have zero. Well, you know. And you even just kind of made fun of it pretty hardcore. Sorry. Being a viable option. I was actually trying to make fun of Tony. Good because. I mean, they did it in those little, what are those, the, the Orlando? Orlando. 
So it could only be better than that, at least. Like, what would you... You could, like, hit a little... A little fold in a rug, and you could be pre-rendering that junk. Like, in slow motion, it'd have to be, like, 240, but... Because otherwise, it's going to be like... like, Yeah. It's back down. But at 240 frames per second, that'd be like butter with it just dropping out. I mean, so be... (laughs) Thanks, Tony. (laughs) I was mainly making fun of Tony. Come on. I already have a build like that. He just doesn't know. You don't have to love Pablo just because he's here. (laughs) Come on. Whatever. Jerk. (laughs) <laughs> throwing me under the bus it's like foot and mouth it's like i'm a uh, what's it called uh, uh politician that's not what i said <laughs> yeah i said if you did it it would suck yeah <laughs> you take it all back anytime you want um yeah. i snow bashed with my fire. yeah dude that thing looks rad. And speaking of big trucks like that, Brandon Singleton asked about the Red Cat 8S too. I'm curious about it. Yeah. Not curious enough to buy one, but I'm curious. Yeah. Uh, I think the wheels look cool. Like, I'm not normally a big fan of stuff like that, but. Oh, you know what? I got some wheels for you. Uh oh. Um, they're called the Katanas. Mmm. Dude, I those are like those. sick so sick yeah so but no yeah said no one it was it was fun ish it was i waited too long for the snow it it came down faster than i expected and i did not expect us to get seven inches of snow so it was too deep and it was a little bit wet and heavy so Uh. like the truck was like after yeah. like a minute of driving through the yeah. snow and it like collected and got so heavy and yeah you had to like pick it up drop it then turn it on and off again to reset because it, uh, it would like go out even though it wasn't done yeah it was just requiring so much draw to move those paddle yeah. tires in the snow that it was like i hate life and it's so... <laughs> That's... i needed to turn off the lipo cutoff is what i needed to do yeah because it wasn't lipoing out it was just yeah it was voltage hitting at it was just yeah it's Dumping. probably one peak and then it dumped yeah yeah so i see look fun but it was fun yeah well spoiler alert from crawler tracks oh dirt we is in the house he missed it the the picture of the oh there you go the scx6 getting some crazy yep Getting some back half action. So that'll be up tomorrow, hopefully. Mm What? Okay. Tried my MX on a ski with a paddle, James RC says. Mm, That that sounds. What is the keeper? Have you. Have you seen those on Instagram? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Is, yeah. But I think GMRC tried it on the snow. That'd be cool. With the paddle and the ski. That'd be Have really you cool. seen, I don't know who did it. I think it was the Diesel Brothers where they put the two jet skis on a side-by-side. Have you seen that? They put two sea on, so on oh, no. each each side, and they, and they put a side-by-side on top of it that's controlling the sea just for views <laughs> and it's like it's crazy and, what this world has come to and it was like screaming and i was like that seems like a lot of fun but that also seems very dangerous yeah. <laughs> so i was getting ready to run my motorcycle but i realized that the battery was still in it from the last time my kids drove it oh and it's swell up and you can't even pull it out now no i got it out but it's beyond so there's two things my Oof. golf cart is beyond the charger charging it you know, it uses a smart charger. Golf carts use a smart charger to charge. Um, and uh, it's the same as these. If they drop below a certain voltage, yeah, you got to freaking manually charge it. So I have the little 2S battery sitting right over here. 
so I can stick it on that Gen Z's charger since the ones outside are all spectrum and mm. they have nothing to do with it. They're like, there's no battery attached. Uh. There just ain't one. <laughs> no way you can tell us that there is even a NIM. We won't even believe you. Like, yeah, so we got to use something else. So and that's always the sketchy, only too. The bummer about those smart chargers is, yeah. like, when you do something like that, even if it's just below, like, you need 10 seconds on a bump, it just refuses to even recognize it. And you're like, Did I tell you about the one be that smarter I. Smarter than that, smart charger. Just be smarter. Did I tell you about the one that I found that was, like, completely puffed? It was, I think I told you about that last week. Yeah, I joked about throwing it in my neighbor's garbage. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it happens. That's what happened this week. No joke. I did it. You did? <laughs> Threw it in your neighbor's garbage? No. No, you might have. Awesome. What else was I going to talk about tonight? I forgot. They had that at the SEMA show last year. Probably the Sea Dews. Sea Dews, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. What a waste. What a SEMA waste. So I went on a bike ride just before I got online. Oops, mm. that's not what I want to press. Sorry, based. Huh? He's saying he just reminded of his street bike has a battery in it. Lithium anti-gravity battery. Mm. Probably toast. Toast. Um, so... Here's my bike. Here's a, my bike. Tell me, tell me if this shocks you, the kind of bike I ride. Baby Herman. Yep, go for it. Totally, I was right. <laughs> nope, doesn't shock me one bit, dude. I'm calling it before you put it up. Just, just like this, too. Entire yeah. time. Just laid back, straight up. Lowered the seat down, welded it. You need to find out how to get your pedals forward, like pedals. I know, forward. but it's an it's an it's actually a real Schwinn, is it, so I don't want to. I already chopped the back up to put my seat down so low. Yeah, it's the Cholo Solo seat. Mm -hmm. Awesome. It's got tassels on the handlebars. Wipes your butt while you ride. Yeah, I'm just like straight up just coasting. Probably uh, don't need no bidet. <laughs> He just goes for a bike ride after he's done. Dude. Dude, I like the little tassels coming down. Here. I know. It's, I see well, that tassel. Well, you know what's dope is that I, I rode my bike. Normally, I wear a helmet. Today, I didn't wear a helmet. And I uh, had my hat off, and my hair is just flowing. And I'm like... But you yeah. had a mask on, though, right? <laughs> okay. And glasses. Yeah, so it's like, yeah. yeah. Welcome to Washington State. <laughs> Oh. He doesn't have a helmet on. At least he's got a mask on. Yeah. Nope. No mask here. Gives a new meaning a skid mark. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny too because before oh, I be welded comment of the day, that's got to be on screen. <laughs> be before I rewelded the the. Can you reverse the like giving things on here? Is there a way to do like a super chat to the comments? <laughs> <laughs> Hit that up, people. Before I fixed my uh, seat, it used to like actually rub on the seat, and it would like fray the bottom part of the seat. And I had to re-weld a bracket underneath it of the seat. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Just one more use of the word "street" or seat. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. I like your bike. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty jealous. Actually. It's pretty sick. It's a little hard to ride up the hills. If I was riding that bike, though, I would probably bruise my chest. <laughs> yeah, it's true. With my it, knees, it's true. Like I'm, I'm yeah. straight. Yeah, my knees are like all tight, mm -hmm. doing this kind of a thing. <laughs> I have a bloody nose. <laughs> yeah. I look like I just boxed Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, that. Have you seen some of the clips of him training? Jake Paul. Oh, dude, he looks ripped, man. Dude. There's no Mike, way I'd fight that guy. No. Well, you know that did I tell you about that's have you heard Joe Rogan talk about why his table's so wide? When he his interview table? He so made he beat up by Mike Tyson? He said he had an interview with Mike Tyson once while he was training for something. 
and Mike Tyson had a look in his eye like he was going to reach over and tear his head off. And so Joe Rogan purposely had his table built wider after that interview. So guests wouldn't be able to reach him. <laughs> Yeah. More so Mike Tyson. Yeah. In particular. Yep. Yeah. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. <laughs> I love it. I know. That's the goal. I'm waiting for my hair to get even longer. It's getting, you can't really see it right now because it's dark. I want the goatee splitting, like going over <laughs> yeah. and over. <laughs> that's when you're really winning it. Like. Yeah. I know. It's dope. Oh, I need to wear a vest as I'm riding. <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's funny. I, I was telling that to my family this last weekend. He was uh, JCRC saying, "I got to record myself drinking my cranberry juice, like oh, the guy on the longboard." <laughs> <laughs> I'll totally do that. Just be like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> as I'm swaying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so good. Yeah. So good. That bike's Look, hard to the run. RC in. world. Did I miss anything this week? Um, like the last four weeks have been crazy. Yeah. Gassy. <laughs> so the I know I missed the Red Cat fifth scale. There you have the I new tenth scale that. too. Amazing. They have the new tenth scale. It's the oh yeah, yeah, the brush fusion. Yeah. yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Um, Doesn't look VRD good. I'd probably save up and just get the stance, and then upgrade yeah. it. But that's just me. Yeah. However, I'd have to see one. Like the other one wasn't bad out of the box. The ascent. It looks pretty but good. It wasn't like man. When I I've never driven anything like the VRD. Yeah. So. Um, I don't know what else is new. I don't think there's a whole lot of newness out right now. Okay. I just wasn't sure if I missed something. I did yeah. not get to watch the scale news update today yet. Oh, you're not missing anything. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. He's going to have your four days news next week on it. I'm pretty sure. I know. I know. It, yeah. it just, okay. So I don't know why, but the tires were like too soft. So they were wrapping around the, like they were totally wrapping. And then it was really top heavy. Like it would roll, it rolled over really easily. And I was like, strange. Like the sidewall of the tires were too tall. They were still 475s. Huh. It was like they were too tall and skinny. But I want to give it another, I want to give it another go. I want to put like, at least put a 1080 in it and a Holmes, uh, Master in it. I have a couple of them left, so I'll probably throw one of those at it. I think I have like a 540 or something like that to go in it. But yeah, I think I I want to do that. But we'll see. Tyson's literally going to kill JP at uh, Jake Paul. Yeah, I know. He's gonna eat him. He's gonna eat his babies like 100. percent Tyson's <laughs> a beast. Yeah. He's a beast. I love it. All right. So other RC news. I don't. I think I told most of mine. I, was, I built the crawler stuff, which has been a pretty good experience in comparison to other ones I've built. Um, not hurting. Oh, I talked about your bug. Yep. Yep. I got one more thing to talk about since you were hating on my ideas for painting my bog hog. It looks really good. I don't hate on it anymore. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to put my taco chop hey, sticker on there. Hey, you that? <laughs> Sell it back to you. <laughs> I kind of have been in the market for one. <laughs> yeah. I've been wanting one for a long time. Yeah, there you go. It's right there. Looks pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, it looks pretty dope. You, you distressed it. Very well. Thanks. Where you painted over it. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I think it's going to look pretty sweet out there ripping it up. So we'll see. I'm going to put the, uh, I'm going to do a new, uh, another like 
change the colors a little bit of my little taco chop guy and uh, put that on the door so it, match, it blends all in, matches. Yeah. You should put a different servo on. Oh, I saw RC news that happened. I'll pull it up as we're talking, but okay. Yeah, no, I yeah, I need. I'd like to throw another servo on it, but you know, you know, the especially for the mud. If you're gonna take it in the mud, that thing's gonna struggle, dude. So, you know, this Kingsling. Yeah, I'm still running, and my son raced it and has bashed it, the same stock servo. With tributes on it, two sixes. Haven't had a problem with it. Yeah, I'm so surprised. And now it's going to happen. But, but yeah, what do you? What needed to happen in RC that you were talking about? Oh, I'm going to pull it up here in a second. I'm trying. Thanks, to Saturn Five. Oh yeah, the JCon S S10 body. Yeah, that's JCRC. One you're gonna yeah. be signing some equalizer trucks coming here soon. Mm -hmm. But that is not the news that I wanted to talk about. Had has anybody seen any public service announcements recently? Was that the one with uh Holmes about uh, the servos blowing up? Uh -huh. oh, cut this out. Sorry, Dustin. I won't, I won't share your news all over the internets. <laughs> Popped up right as I was doing it. Yeah. It's come to our attention that a servo brand is continually blaming our ESCs for their servos failing on 4S yeah. and denying warranty to customers. The fix they recommend is to install a Zener diode, which shorts out above a certain voltage. Our ESCs are also 4S rated and would fry if the voltage rating was too low for an honest 4S product. So it sounds like you'd be shorting out your ESC if you do that. Anyway. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of comments on Instagram on that. There's 243 comments here on the Facebook. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, that's crazy. And I saw everyone kind of telling who the was. Yeah. Yeah. I won't say it, but. Yeah. Oh, I, it's not who I saw at some fabricator, not on Instagram. They were pointing at someone else. Yeah. Good evening. I just thought it was interesting, like, big time call out, like, regardless mm -hmm. of who it is. Like, it's a small enough industry that, like, you know, there's, like, punches thrown. Like, that's, yep. that's back alley kind of. I know. And he was even talking about backing off servo production a couple weeks ago. Holmes in one of his YouTube videos. I've never had one of his servos, but I can't imagine that they wouldn't be awesome. I mean, I'm a Holmes junkie. I've got, I love my Holmes hobby stuff. I just, I wish they worked with Hobby Wing ESCs versus castle ESCs. I haven't used one of the Holmes ESCs yet, but I would. Yeah. I love the motors. Love them. Really, really good. Oh, I see. Mike, aren't you a Holmes driver? That would be awesome. I I run the Crawlmaster Sport. Well, I don't run the Crawlmaster Sports as much anymore. That was my go-to, Crawlmaster Sport and a 1080 or the BRXL. Um, but now I run the Trailmaster Pros. And Tony's got the nicest motor that I had. I sent that one out to him. It was the... And pretty nice wheels, too. Yeah. <laughs> 20 and the body was okay, but was less than okay now. Jerk. It's all right, Tony. I mean... It's all right. Just be a little bit more careful with your uh, truck one that I've got cooking. I was going to do that for this week's World Wednesday, but I think it's going to be next week's now. I have a cage around it, so I also wouldn't drive it the same way. Mm hmm. Mm, revolver. Yeah. They make a Crawlmaster ESC, too. I. I thought it was called something else, but or maybe it's called the Crawlmaster now. A Crawlmaster. 
Oh, yeah. That's why. That's what I run. Polar Pro. Yeah, Polar Pro. I have a Polar, Polar Pro 4100 that I put in one of my uh, U4 trucks. It was crazy. Oh, that's what I put in the Kronos was the Polar Pro, right? I don't know what you put in the Kronos. I think did I you did. ever drive that one? Yeah. <laughs> and then the second time I tried to drive it on 6S, the ESC didn't work. I don't know if a Polar Pro will run on 6S either. Uh, the right KV would. Oh, maybe if you did a... Uh, even if I you did, did the, the big one that they run on the... Um, 2100s? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know you can run that. I thought those were just 4Ss. No. Thanks, Psycho Garage. He, th he thinks my bug's pretty cool. Just saying. Even though you hate it. A jerk. I mean, could have better tires <laughs> and more overdrive, but other than that, it's pretty rad. Yeah. Well, maybe I'm just a better driver. The servo was not fast. It's not a fast servo. It was powerful, but it was not yeah. fast. Yeah. It was not like comp fast, which I've learned, like where they wheel walk junk. Yeah. Like it was trail powerful, but not yeah. comp speed. Yeah, I don't have much that's comp speed. I was the raw 500, but I, I just put that in my Jericho truck. I didn't. I I was co contemplating putting that in the eight scale buggy, but I think I'm going to get a Reedy servo for that. So, yeah, man, we've got the championship race coming up Saturday. Oh, that's the bummer. So. Saturday, Monster Jam's in town. Hmm. It's, and it's only a one-night show at our stadium. The big it, trucks, too. It is. It's all the... So, last I year... You, dude. Yeah, last year... Uh, uh, why am I mind blanking on him? Adam wasn't there. I forgot who was driving Grave Digger. Is he back in the saddle? Like, I noticed... I thought so. Ryan drove he is. Grave Digger. Yeah. Well, he's driving Son of a Digger. I messaged him. I was like, are you going to be in Seattle this year? And he's like, yes. And I'm like, oh. Because we went and we we uh, saw him at the pit party and all that kind of stuff last year, which was really cool. And Dalton was yeah. all excited about it. But I missed it. I'm, I'm going to SoFi, though, for the World Finals. Nice. So that's, those details are coming together now so yeah i have to talk with you after about it that's, that's right. pretty cool that's cool so yeah yeah the i, I was bummed because i only have somebody to cover me for weekends oh <laughs> nice great yeah. nice yeah i, I was six months eight months oof the uh i was bummed about not being able to go there's a small small chance we could still make it if the mains are done early enough but I still would have to pack up the pit, drive it home, drop it off. And it would be a long day because we'd be at the race from like probably... The 7 o'clock show. Yeah, 7 o'clock show. And we'd be at our race from 7 o'clock in the morning, 7.30 because it's a championship race. So we're going to get there early for practice. Yeah, it's tough. It's going to be tough. So I'm like, See you down low. take it easy. Yeah, so it'll be tough. I don't think, I mean, I wanted to, but I don't think we're going to make it too much. And it's the night before Easter. Yeah. Which is tough. And I was trying to get, I was trying to plant the seeds with the family. I was like, why don't we go to eight o'clock? And they're like, why? And I'm like, because everyone that doesn't go is going to go to all the other services. Let's just make some room for them. Yeah. Go so early. <laughs> yeah. I'll be at both. Yeah. We've got four, four services to choose from. So, me playing a drum too. Nice. Which is not my normal gig. <laughs> hey everybody, tempo, 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 tempo. Mm, mm, mm. Bish, bish, bish. <laughs> mm, mm, da, mm, da. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make stuff better. Says I only Yolo for yeah. Saturday. 
Yeah, it's a long day, dude. It's a race day that's a 10 hour race day is like tough yeah, on a nine. Seeing the trucks in the big stadium, dude, is it's so rad. Last year was awesome. The other thing that sucks about this time of year is that the breeze is coming right. off the Puget Sound. Oh. It, no, it's cold. supposed to be clear, but yeah, it is cold, dude. Yeah. Last year it was cold too. And we brought like blankets, all that kind of stuff. So Yeah, it's raining raining cold this year today, but Yeah. Did you guys have nice weather? Like a little break of nice weather? We had a break warm, dude. Like Dude. We had a break of weather that was over seventy degrees. Yeah. For for we like weird three day. days. And yeah. I was like, whoa, so awesome. I thought like spring is here, baby. And then it snowed seven inches, like <laughs> right after, like <laughs> It was like good, 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 good snow. Like, That's what? awesome. And I'm like, yeah. I'm getting my fire team out because I forgot to get it out last time before. Because the last time it snowed, like it snowed so fast that we had like a foot before you knew it. Like, so this time I started snowing, I'm like, oh, battery's on. And then by the time it, it was done charging and beeping at me, but by the time mm. I actually got out and ran it, yeah. It's like seven inches and kind of difficult. Dude, I'm struggling to push through it. I don't know if you remember. Oh, God. The paddles don't just like sit on top when you have heavy vehicles like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just dig down. And and, like just push. And then all of a sudden it's like. Mm -hmm. So I did a test. Do you remember last year when Ovonic sent me out? I I used their 3S big batteries for trail runs. Yeah. Like. Well, they like sent me 5, out. Thousand ones or eight? Oh. So they sent me out two of these to run, and I was like, "Thanks, guys, but they don't. They don't fit in anything, but they're red." And I'm like, "They're too wide." Like they do look really wide. This is the typical width. <laughs> like this is the width of the. Why the are other drone companies doing crazy junk, man? I think these they are for drones. The same size. It says car on it. It does say car. I don't know what car these fit. X Max or something. I don't even like. It's huge. They're super wide. It won't fit in X Max. No. And so, but I did a test because I was like, uh, "That's my, ridiculous." My trailer. I have LEDs around my trailer, and I have it pigtailed where I can disconnect it and plug it into a drill battery. And I was like, "How long would this battery last?" On my powering your trailer. LED lights, yeah, probably and a long so, time. Yeah, so I had I brought a coil in and put them on my shelf back there and plugged it in, and on a full charge, I only got down to three seven, three six nine, I think it was, and it was over four hours, four and a half hours. Wow, that's pretty power. good. So, take two of those and you go all day. That's Plus, what I'm saying. One will go all day. Well, I mean, yeah. By the time in the summertime when we're out in the trailer, it's not going to get dark till nine. So this is going to, you know, it'll be dim at like seven in the trailer. So I'll put this on and we'll be what out. Dim? No, I just mean in the trailer because oh, the sun, tra- yeah, yeah. sun angle will be low. So, yeah, I'm going to take those and make a little bracket in my trailer so I can just plop it up there and plug it That's in. That's wicked. Good to go. Yeah, I, I don't get the batteries, man. Like I've I've had my issue with batteries and sizing and all that. And then tracks just to the long, narrow ones that are. Like mm, everything the, was that size that you just showed, like that five. Yeah. Like, almost everything used to be five thousand milliamp hour, two S, three S, and they were hard packs and they were all the same size. And then they came out with these long, narrow ones for the Traxxas ones, and then yeah, yeah. Um, and now they're all uh, every size under the sun, and they don't fit in anything. Yeah, like these are the Spectrum ones. Those the Basher batteries they came out with were super long. Like yeah. They wouldn't fit in your 6S Armas. Like, so what would you use it in? So here's a frame of reference. This front one is a, I'll put it edge to edge there, is a UDR battery. That's how big that battery is. Holy cow. <laughs> so that's that long. That's that long. So it's not only long, but it's wide. Yeah. So the Traxxas ones were about the, they were longer. They're, the, they're this. They're, yeah, they're yeah. this size. This is the size that yeah. goes on a UDR. Yeah, 3ds. Yeah, so they stretched. They kept the width this way the same, but they shrunk mm-hmm. it here and went out. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So like their little clip overs wouldn't hold down on other 3s batteries. I know. This is the these. I only have two of these batteries, and the only thing they fit are the UDR. 
That's it. Well, but they would fit in armors and other things that have expandable. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Trades, but yep, they fit best in the Traxxas. Yeah, uh, that's the thing I have anyway, to buy. All that stuff just drives me crazy. It's like, what happened? Like it used to be so universal with batteries, Not and now more. it's gone the opposite direction to like everybody's just doing whatever. Nothing fits in anything. No. You've got to have specific batteries for every stinking vehicle, and it's like, yep, stupid. Yep. And that's yeah. honestly the thing about having a lot of cars that I've talked about in the past. It really comes down to what drives me crazy the batteries. Finding the right batteries to run the vehicles that fit in them and whatever. Like, oh, this needs 6S but needs two 3S or this. Yeah. Yeah. And then they don't fit or whatever. Like, it's just mad. Like, it sucks all the fun out. You think you're charged and ready to go. And they're like, oh, well, this isn't going to fit now. You know what? Screw it. I'm not going to run anything. Like this is. Yeah. You just get so frustrated with. Well, that. and that's the thing that's like it's tough too about race cars. So like my, our eight scale buggies are older AE buggies, and they take the stick packs versus the shorty packs that they do now. Yeah. And the stick packs. I mean, we're. I have three S that'll fit in there, but you you should be running 4S, right? Like if you're racing, it's a 4S class. You should run 4S. But then the 4S batteries for the for the racing stick packs are like ridiculously expensive. Yeah. I have a and whole I'm, bag of batteries down there that I haven't ever used but one time. <laughs> I know. Right? Those Spectrum Basher ones that came out for whatever. Like I, they're too much of a hassle to make fit. Like you've got to rework. Yeah. The, I'm like, I'm not doing that. I've got batteries that fit the cars. Yeah, I'm not gonna start pulling all these plastic pieces out. Then when I want to use the batteries I normally use, aren't like right. just to even show it working. I'm not gonna do that. Like, yep. Just make stuff that fits your stuff and stop doing this to people. Like, yep. It's so maddening. Yep. Thanks for getting over there. Make stuff better. Appreciate it. These some... ones, however, I love. Yeah, normal smart batteries I like, but the, yeah. they came out with the Basher ones, which are, I think, they're just the Gen Zace batteries rebranded. They're the same yeah. awkward oversized batteries that those Gen Zace ones were. Yeah, that were too long to fit in things. Yep, and the cases were made too big. Yep, and like why would you restamp that? Like it didn't fit your vehicles. Uh, yeah, nope, I'm with you. Like these are the ones that I love. These are. They're a little big, but I love these batteries. They fit every 3S pocket. They're a little tall, yep. but they fit That's every the index. 6,000 ma. If it had been yeah. 5,000, it would have been perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I have the 5,000. I have the 5,200s, but I love these yeah. because these are the 100C, and so they have a little bit more oomph. But these fit in the LMT when I'm bashing or whatever perfectly. Yeah. They just, ooh, sit right think, in there. Yeah, whichever other company has one that has a Basher branded battery, which I think it is Gen's Ace, it's the same. The way that the cable flops out of the way is the exact same kind of hole. Yeah. I might actually have two of them here. Well, Gen's Ace and uh, Ovonic are one and the same. I'm like 99% sure on that. Uh, I don't know if you're talking about. I have this other style. And are you talking about Bruce this one? Not lying. <laughs> <laughs> this this a lot is of batteries. the bag of batteries. Yeah. Are you talking about this one where the where the leads come out of the top front? No, it's even more more specific in that. It, oh wow, yeah. It fl which is an amazing thing. Like so, actually, this is great because uh -huh. depending on where your leads have to go, they can either go up and not. Oh yeah, that's nice. Or yeah. it holds out in a way. This yeah. battery actually of their Pro Bashers, this one, this sixty two hundred is like the size of a 5,000 milliamp hour hard case. Yeah. Pack. And this actually fits in the motorcycle, which is the one that I Ooh. over discharged. And it's 120 C at 6,200 milliamp hour. 
it's an awesome battery. Now the rest of them, here's a 10,000 milliamp one. <laughs> and it is a ginormous battery that I don't have anything. This 4S will fit into. You know what that's I mean, for though? For racing. It's for cycling your batteries. For it's for dumping your race battery into it and pushing vol voltage back yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. Well, it says basher, so it makes you think that it would be for running in a basher, like a 4S basher, like the Creighton or whatever. Oh yeah, I guess it so. It is but... a super super hard fit. Huh. Uh, like removing pieces and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you on that. I've got, I've got a bunch crawlers. of them. They're still in. They're still in the 6800 milliamp hour. Just again, a weird sizing. Is that a forest? Oh wait, actually, this is one of those. Ah, so this is actually a perfect example. I don't know why this is in that box, but this is a bashing, not basher, battery uh -huh. that has this same. Is that 3s or 4s? This is a 3s. What nice. the heck are you doing in this case for? <laughs> You're like, I just found some gold. Yay. Uh, Casitas Crawler, I'm in the oh. same boat as you. I I bought the cheap Amazon charger, and I just cut all the leads off. Whoa, that's a big battery. Well, one's a 4S, one's a 3S, but the, the end parts are... Does it have the dimensions more. written on that? They're just, they're big. They're all big. Well, no. This I'm, one actually I use, so I don't know why it's in here. This no, is actually I'm, a good battery. I'm wondering if the dimensions are on it for the 4S because of that old buggy that I have. It only takes the stick batteries that are 4S. And they're weird because they're big like that. They're tall and long. So these are both... One has more capacity. It doesn't have the dimensions. Mm -hmm. But these these are both 3S. Okay. And they look very... Si There's the same size. Yeah. You can see they're very similar. But this actually would be a usable battery. Right here. Yeah. I could use that. 3S. Yeah. It's not too big. Um, anyway, it, it is weird some of the the choices made that don't fit within like their typical brand of vehicles mm -hmm. and then like you try to tell people about it and it's like well sorry it's not gonna fit in most of your cars that you would try to use this with so like, they want you to buy a hundred dollar battery yeah i want to buy you a, want you to buy a hundred dollar battery regular smart car. batteries the smart ones have always worked great like, yeah, I don't know. I was very confused by it. And also this ginormous Gen 10,000 Ma. So I guess this would be like that other one. Oh, wait, wait didn't I just have a 10,000 one? Yeah. Spectrum? So maybe this is the... I mean, <laughs> it's a huge battery. That's massive. What size of connector is that? Is that a XT90 or 60? Looks like a small connector. They're EC5s. So, yeah, this is... No, they're not at all the same, actually, because... Well, yeah, they're not. They're differently big. They're both... And I don't... I don't. I guess I could put them in my SCX6 if I really wanted to weight it down, but drive for, like, two days. Like, if I really was... Like having a hankering for just being out forever. Wait, this is 6S. Wait, that's fifth. That's uh, well, that's a massive battery now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, that's a 6S battery. Yeah, you should put it in your 24 skill. That's what Psycho Garage says. I guess it's a that's 6S. It could probably fit where a double stacked 3S would go. Yeah, that's a big uh, battery. Some of it, like it gets beyond me. That's why 3s I, is I like miss the, the old days of just like the 3s, 4s, 5,000 mods. You just went out and they worked in all of your cars. Yeah, that 
it would not fit in my SCX 24s. That's part of the problem. <laughs> these are bigger than my SCX 24s and heavier. So you're like, nah. But I mean, there's like, I should, you can't sell these. I'm not going to ship batteries. I don't know what to do with them. You can ship them. Just don't say anything. Just ship it ground. Because here's a 14,000 ma battery 3S. This one could definitely power an SCX6 for eternity. For eternity. <laughs> 14,000. 4S or 6S? 3S. So 3S. It's, legal. it's legal for your SCX6 by the book. Wow. 14,000 ma at 120C. So it'll be like a little less than eternity just because it's discharging so, so fast. <laughs> yeah. That's an e-bag battery. Oh, it's maybe that's so what big. I should. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll buy those off of you because I'm. we're going to build a, a drift cart this summer. Yeah. But I'll it's going to be electric. What are you shipping? Bricks. <laughs> just heavy, heavy bricks. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You don't have to tell them. Just say it's on the ground. Just come and take them on the plane. Just yeah. Their, they could be your flight back. <laughs> they, it's too many battery. milliamps. Too many milliamps to no, take on the not. plane. It's not based on that. I thought they. I thought it's you couldn't like have certain. Watt, watt, it's like it's some other. Nah, because I do. I do like camera light batteries, and they're massive. Yeah. Yeah. Golf cart, I could. My golf. That's cart what I was saying. Good. That's what I was saying. Because we have a couple of these together. Yeah, we're gonna put. We're gonna do that e-bike or not the e-bike, uh, the drift cart with an e-motor on it. That'd be awesome. Oh hey, just, look at this! I found a. These are like old, sought-after lockouts for a, a Claude Buster. Ooh. I need to do something with my Claude Buster. You need to put one of these on the rear steer. I I three D printed my lockouts. These oh, that's cool. The jam right here, man. Those are nice. Is that yeah. metal? Yeah. Ooh. Fancy. Ooh, that made these. I got it from. Um, I think Mike Eaton was selling them, but it was. I have the race chassis that so many people wanted back in the day. Mm. The ZRP one. Mm -hmm. Retro Racer, I think it was called. Yeah. And I think it was that they made these originally, these rear lockouts. I don't know why it's in this bag, but... I want to get another Claude Buster. I want to do two things. I want to make mine more sporty. Like, just mean, not sporty, but I mean more performance-oriented. Mm -hmm. Slightly. Like, I'm thinking the regulator chassis and better steering um can you still get regulator chassis i thought you could i thought they came out with a carbon one i don't know if they're in stock but i thought they just came out with a new version a month or two ago what yeah didn't really? they come out i thought so i see chassis rails I see the steering lockouts. Those were great. So you can definitely buy the rails. Oh, here's a kit. It looks like you can. How much is a kit now? List. Put me on the waiting list. Mm. So I want to do that for mine, but I want to get another one so I can do what likes RC World does or has bought in. Where he has all those like really cool retro clods, like the show clods. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, where they're blinged out to. The... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to do that. I mean, they're just shelf queens, but you know, I think they're really cool. That's what most of your trucks are. What? <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? Poop! Poop out your mouth! <laughs> none of my trucks are i thought about movies. selling some of my clods like i have a i have a retro j concepts oh, you, i have a chassis 
I'm glad I didn't call you in my moment of weakness because I have a regulator chassis. I was almost thinking of putting that on the market. Really? No, I was like, wouldn't. I was like this wouldn't. close. I was just kind of like, ah, I need race car parts and I could build it something else. And I was like, do I do it? And I was like, ah. I literally, I literally was sitting here at night. Like, I think I'm going to list it. Huh? Yeah, you wouldn't. It's just a truck. No, it's not. <laughs> Lazarus? Lazarus, yeah. Nah. Yeah. At like, Easter, yeah. you would do that? <laughs> no. you? I almost posted a Lazarus video Damn. on Sunday for uh, Palm Sunday. I was like, it's the week of Lazarus. Did you have your three pins, your three wrench shot ready? Um, I have a library of them to choose from. I was, oh, that's not cool. You can't do that. That's so social media loser of you. Come on. You have to do fresh content. You can't post things <laughs> you shot five years ago. <laughs> All right. If it hasn't been done in the past three days, it's not allowed to be posted. Oh, come on. That's okay. That's how it should be. Okay. So I have no time to get out on the hill that I take all my stuff to. I'm looking at the weather. Does, I need to get three of those wrenches. Where can I get three of those wrenches? I literally throw them away. <laughs> Every I time I see one, I throw it away. Yeah, I have a dozen of them everywhere. I mean, they're everywhere. Maybe you know the three speedy direct. <laughs> There's one. Okay. Uh, here's another one. Overnight FedEx. There's another one. I know I have the one that has the Vanquish. You know what? I can Amazon them. Oh, see, you are you gonna you gonna bite my style RC... now? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> RC T wrench. Oh wait, here's the other one. Here we go. Look at <laughs> three within reach right here. I can get this, two in by Thursday for seven dollars. This one's special. Gotta be a bit. two. Uh, two for six twenty seven. <laughs> yep seven oh that's a big cross one the middle i had oh, a big one in the middle four ones. wait four pieces cross right <laughs> here we go winner winner <laughs> for 598 here we go man the internets we love you internets hold on tony i'm just going through my jeff bezos says Make your Easter RC post today. <laughs> I will help you spread the word, it. my friend. Right here, five ninety eight. Here we go. Oh no! Look oh, at all the crosses that you could have. Oh, they look really Chineseium, though. Yeah. Uh, I just dropped one and it rolled under my toolbox. Look, I've got all these right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just... Rider stocks to me in Traxxas versions. Well, that's much more local, local yeah. friendly. There you go. Do they stock three of them? Don't sell your MTs. You'll regret it. I wasn't talking oh, about my... Not just for RC cars. Oh, it's you for 3D printers, for too. for your 3D printer nozzle. Yeah. I actually wish I had known that the other day. Ah. <laughs> uh. Yep. <laughs> I knew I was bad at social media, but according to Tony, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You're such an enabler, Tony. I just dropped one and it rolled under my toolbox. Oh, well, just great. Fantastic. So let me show people that might not know what you do. What's it called again on the IG? Instagram? Yeah. But what's your page called with the cross wrenches? Oh, Holy Rollers. I haven't posted it in a long time. Well said. Our stuff works perfectly with Holmes. We talk on the regular. Oh, oh, oh. Reefs RC throwing gasoline on the fire. Holy Holy Rollers? What is it called? Yeah, Holy, Holy Rollers RC, I think. I need to post there more. Oh, here it is. 
This this one's followed by RC Amigos. Oh, um, hey. The burrito. Why was there, there a burrito on there? I don't know. Yep. I remember seeing them being like, ah, oh, so clever. <laughs> that guy. I have a bunch of them on my other page, too. Yeah, this page is like kind of... Kind of sparse. Not kept up. What's the burrito? What is that all about? You made an egg burrito. I made an egg burrito. It's called an omelet. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. (laughs) I forgot about that. Yep. That's my shirt. Nice. Yep. All right. Well, that was kind of a nothing it, burger. There's only yeah. one picture of them. I have like. I thought it was way better. I have at least five other versions of that on my. Yeah, but you post so much on your other stuff, I'll never find them. So yeah, it's no, a I, lost cause. <clears throat> it is. But back to the comment by Reeves. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Yeah. Ouch! Fire! He's not messing around. I haven't talked to him in a long time. See all 80 photos of cross. Not one of them is my cross wrench. Do you imagine that? I might have a cross wrench somewhere. I think in my old, old Stanley toolbox that I used to carry for RCs, there's still a cross wrench in it. Here, here's the, the very ups. That's the very first one I did. You're missing it. Yeah. Right there. I'll see like a larger one in the. Yep. It's not perspective. That was... people. He cheated. He cheated. <laughs> Actually, he you know what? Know you know what? Apparently Actually, photographer. You want to know what's even worse about that? It's a different color. No, I photoshopped the second one, the third one in. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh, it was only one other wrench, and you had to like clone it. <laughs> Forgot about that because I couldn't find the third one. Oh yeah, look. <laughs> Hold on. That's the original photo. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Did you get the shadow in the other one or you go back to it now? I don't know. I don't know. I'm is looking there a at shadow. Something. How bad is it? It's pretty bad. No, it's actually pretty Our good. Steve Patina guy, we're we're kind of making fun of Pablo right now. Jump in. Oh, you did shadow it. Come on, man. I'm a professional. And there's not even a shadow on the original, so you added the shadow. So you knew you needed shadow. Yep. Look at that. <laughs> That's just funny, man. Uh, did I ever show you this? The links that people will go for social media, though. That used to be hanging up in my shop that I built. And then Cam Chancellor came by, and he's a super uh, hardcore Christian guy. I taught him how to weld, and then I was like, hey, man, you need this. So I just took it off my wall and gave it to him. The football player, Cam Chancellor? Yeah. The Seahawks guy? Yep. He just kind of just throwing names out there like, I'm kind of a big deal. Cam Chancellor knows who I am. Okay. I did this once in my shop for my... Business post. And of all the sawdust. And people said you're a dirty, dirty, dirty shop. Yeah, well, you know. Hmm. Yep. I'm trying to see if I have any other ones. I know I have more. They just didn't pop up. That was classic that I got the the one that was photoshopped. That's awesome. (laughs) Is that blasphemy? I added another, another one that's... False idol. <laughs> There's something wrong. I haven't figured out exactly what yet, but I will. It's okay. It's all right. I will. I'll do. I'll do another one. Oh, I had. I did that. Uh, the Christmas nativity one. Do you remember that? The time lapse. Actually, did I do that or did my daughter do that? <laughs> now you're stealing your daughter's work. This guy. It's all right. This guy. I'm not ashamed. (laughs) I'm not ashamed. 
Oh, oh I just seen this the scale news update poster, not a Jeep. It's got kind of an interesting radiator. Hmm. Why is this is this it? Oh yeah. Hey, maybe this, this one. one. Harley. You're missing it, Tony. You're missing it. I can't, see you. I can't see you. You disappeared. What the crap? Where'd you go? Race yeah. works. No, hold on. Uh, play. Oh, the time lapse. Oh, nativity. Yeah, all of RC car parts. <laughs> I'm going full screen. All right, it's kind of impressive. <laughs> You go on full screen? Is that what you said? It's the TWS re release of Not a Jeep. Who's TWS? Uh, I forgot where are they. Is it? It's not Taiwan. It's one of those other companies that's not big in America yet. Hmm. That's it. That's all I got. Oh, you know what I got? A bunch of. I did not talk about yet. Mm. Preparation H. Ooh. Kayak. Luggage carriers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, most of this is not that interesting. <laughs> cool story, bro. Yep. Oh, well, these are kind of cool. Some little extinguishers oh there was a bike but i lost it yeah <laughs> yeah we're gonna have josh 18 on. scale bot a bike rc patina guy asked if we're gonna have josh on the show oh we should have him on <laughs> we should do like between two ferns and he'll just be in the middle and we'll Put just him in be the middle like <laughs> like we have to make sure we turn it away. Like, yeah, I'll put my yeah. screen so that I have to look this way to see you guys. Yeah, yeah, I'll go yeah, like and that. And he'd just be in the middle, we'd just be looking at him. <laughs> you always get that beard. Yeah, yeah. I was looking what, at you. I remember seeing that beard before. Be like, which side is your best side? <laughs> yeah, it'd be awesome. I feel like I can see the other side of your room from here. The one that's not on the camera. <laughs> yeah. It's not very clean. Oh, over there? Yeah, it's not very clean. Yeah. Well, you know. I had to hide all the laundry behind me. Actually, I don't know if you heard that buzz go off. It was my dryer. Yeah. It's in that that room right there. Do you have ear hair growing out of your ears? I do. No. It's it's my long hair. I mean, I think we could totally do something to mess mess with them. We should. Party. We should. I think it'd be good. Be like, hey, you want to come on and talk about the new blah, blah, blah? And then, like, not even talk about it. <laughs> so I heard from some people you're kind of a big deal in the RC world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How has life been after hitting 100,000 subscribers on oh, YouTube? Has yeah. it been pretty amazing? Yeah. Oh, you haven't yet? Oh. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. What's it like to go win a twenty-four Does it make scale? You feel compliment? like less than a big kind of a deal. <laughs> we could be like, "What's it feel like to go win a scale comp event in twenty-four scale of novice runners?" <laughs> I mean. They're not even East Coast guys. That's where the real the real competition is. So you finished second and there were three competitors. Tell me how that went. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm trying to think of a joke to make about his case. <laughs> I'll have to think about one. How many heads can you fit in that case? 
<laughs> Do you I, ever carry? I, I totally imagine him rolling in like though with white glove treatment for it. You know, like no. You know what's even better? He probably opens it up and he has like steaming hot tots in the case, and he's like, he's like eating his tater tots as he's like in his car. <laughs> People come near me, closes the case, like, <laughs> can't look in here. Yep. Yep. Uh, yeah. If I had a case like that, I'd make a little tube sleeve so I could put my, like, Dude. Tapatio in it. Like, my little mini bottle of Tapatio, just slide it down in there. I would I would totally, no, I would just leave the RCs in it like he does, like, over the top, <laughs> like, perfect uh. location and everything. But I would come with, like, Michael Jackson gloves to put on so that when I open the case and like gently lift the lid <laughs> and pull my car out like I'd get the loudest so good. the loudest latches so when you hit each latch it's like thunk thunk you know those like old metal latches that they make those noises when they flip up yeah so I've I've never had a cat do this before oh I don't want to know about that um but he's eating up one of my nice blue paper towel shop towel rolls so this was a stray cat that was living under our front porch and um we decided to take him in because he kept getting into like really big fights with my cat mm. and i didn't want him to get whatever diseases this creepy stream outside <laughs> might have so you brought him in the thunder well, you're, you're like that and two cats enter one cat leaves to make sure he was okay and not gonna you know, like infect my cats with whatever He's totally tearing the thing up. Hey, he's angry looking too. Like he looks at you like, <laughs> how dare you tell me? He's just like a mean cat. Like it's a little <laughs> kitten, but his eyes always just like mean, like from the front, but from the side, it's like this Joker smile that goes like way up. Like mm. I was like, how's the cat smiling? I've never seen a cat smile before. I'm like, he's not. Oh, he's not smiling. Like look mm -hmm. at him from the front. He's, he's gonna, angry. He says, oh, he's going to. Get on your belly and suck out your soul while you're asleep. Gross. Uh-oh. Saturn Five says show it. What what did this ever do to him? It's all cats. wet still. Gross. That's not, like ten dollars. I'm not a cat fan. Garfield cat. It actually is like so I, I kinda like cats. That's kind of one of my things. Um, but as a kid, I would have never liked a long haired cat, but now like all I like are long haired cats and this cat is not a long haired cat. So he doesn't have much going for him. It's like, do I waste my house space for this cat <laughs> or do I just like take it to the shelter and be like, eh, this cat showed up and we don't just get rid of him. But I, so, cause I really want a Maine Coon, like. Cat people will know what that is. Yeah. They're like dog sized cats, long haired. Yeah. I thought Maine Coon stand didn't up have at the counter hair. and like look up on the top of it. Uh, I think it'd be amazing. So it's so gross. Do you but, let your cats like, get you on the counter? So many, like, like now this makes three cats. And so we're already like weird cat people by having a third one. Yeah. That's a whole other level. And so I'm like, mm, it needs to disappear as well. The other short haired cat I call Eagle Meat. Because we have this bald eagle that lives by us. And You're like, like let's go for a walk. With the eagle. Hey, let's go to the middle of the field. <laughs> yeah. Hey, why do you keep? Oh, don't go around the outside of the yard. Go out in the as middle. As he's walk, as he's walking out the front door, you orange. sprinkle Johnny seasoning on the cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I have this really bad like. My wife, if I start laughing while I'm looking at my phone, she's like, "Are you watching cat videos?" And I'm like, uh. "No." <laughs> but I am like they're usually the funny cat videos on Instagram that pop up in my feed. You were up late last night. You sent me a text, and I went to bed early. And I'm like, I, my wife was watching TV, and I was you like, "You watch that video?" So funny. I I was asleep. I, I, oh. So I I'm like I'm looking around. I'm like, "Is that your phone?" She goes, "No, it's yours." And I'm like, "Who's texting me?" I <laughs> God, I open it. And I was like, "What's Tony doing up?" It's like one o'clock his time. Oh, I didn't go to bed till like two, dude. <laughs> It's brutal. <laughs> um, no, it was a funny video about being in a Christian band. Oh, I'll have to check it and out. They didn't make it. And oh like, no! How bad is that? Like, 
<laughs> it was really <laughs> funny. It was really funny. But the so I'm saying this because Casitas crawlers is talking about you need the cat with short legs. So we were just laughing at these little short legged, long haired cats like in Japan. Oh gosh, so funny looking. Oh, they're super short legs. So they're just like look like they're rubbing their bellies across the ground as they're running. It's funny. Um, but no, so my actually I'm gonna pull it up. I'm just on Instagram right now because zero percent a cat person. Yeah, that's all right. All the text messages to my wife are like me trying to convince her that I need a Maine Coon. And then there's this really funny kid who's a big tractor buff kid. Uh huh. Um, but no, it's like more cats. Big cat, cat doing something. Here's a Maine Coon one. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of stuff and here's the big one reaching up on the counter i saw that one on instagram and i yeah. was like what is that so i mean they're literally just all cat and i literally do it so that i have them saved somewhere like uh... just because it's so funny <laughs> yeah that's me um i'm that guy and half the chat has exited yep that's our f1 talk for the day <laughs> feline one nope can't do it so the reason for me like i like pets mm -hmm. but i can't have a dog why because i traveled so much mm. that you either have to like yeah. yep, be the person that's like hey my dogs come with me and, and they're like oh great and but they're really like why you guys are weird why would you bring your pets to somebody else's house yeah, yeah. Like, not your house why bring it you know yep but cats you're like here's three kitty litters and five bowls of food and <laughs> there's lots of water all over the place just yep. have fun yep. and try not to destroy the house too bad yeah yeah i uh and they they live i'm lucky i have my neighbor loves my dog he literally comes in every morning at the shop. He's like, I'm going out to coffee. And my dog Lucy just follows him in, jumps in the truck, and he goes out to coffee with Lucy. And they he throw takes her your dog out for a drive. Yeah. And it, well, well, okay, here's what's kind of sad. So he he's by himself and he had a dog for like 17 years. And this dog was like his life. And his dog was friends with my old dog that passed away, like best friends. And so when my new dog came around, they kind of were together a little bit, but the other dog was so old, it just passed away. Mm -hmm. And so it was pretty sad because, I mean, it was like his life. And so now he takes my dog for coffee every morning, sometimes twice a day. And she just jumps in the truck and goes with him, goes to coffee and comes back. And he opens the door and she comes right into my office. And like, she's a spoiled dog. But... Yeah, so when I travel, I just leave a bag of food, and I'm like, hey. You know, I ask him, obviously, can you watch her? And she's like, oh, yeah, no problem. And he just, it's like, no big deal. It's like a second family. <laughs> like, it's That's pretty crazy. awesome. It's pretty awesome. But, yeah, he takes my dog for lunch every, or for coffee every morning. That's Give me a jerky bad. code. Cool that he does that. Yeah, well, and it's a good, like, it's a, he, she came right at the right time. She was around for probably two or three years before his dog passed away. Mm. And then his dog passed away. And then our dog was kind of there for him. Our dog's really nice. She's like She's like a one of those dogs that reads people really well. So she gets excited or she's like really timid. Not timid, but like low key around certain people that are uncomfortable. So get your mates here. <laughs> so legit, before they started having a a meat um a beef jerky sponsor yeah yeah before i moved and all that i was reached out to by this company uh. about <laughs> um sponsoring like they sent me boxes of the stuff to uh to eat uh, to test and the ghost fire ones are fantastic as well as the dill pickle ones which you should weird. reach back out to them because i like jerky it's 100 percent pork too well, that's weird, but carb I, conscious, carb conscious. 
carb conscious. I, it- I take them with me when I go out to Axial Fest. I have in my backpack. I have Sweet Fire, Ghost Fire, and they have um, another one that's like a number seventeen. I don't know, like a Jack Daniels kind of name, kind of yeah, um, one. And I take those with me. And now they just released one that's um, like dill pickle, which I thought, like, how the heck? That's the worst idea ever. And I had one. I'm like, okay, this is pretty fantastic. I will. <laughs> I can vouch for this now, but it's not in this package that is here. Well, you should reach Wait, back out to him. Is it in this one? I we make can... it that right one. Is it? I think that green one might be. Am I showing it? I'm not showing it. Am I? You're not showing it. If we could get Cayman Jack to sponsor, that would be awesome. I think this far right one might be the pickle one. Well, you need to the call him up. Fire is really good. You need to be like, hey, remember Both back? Fire is good. They have a buffalo, taco one? Bu- Dude, the buffalo style ones. If you like buffalo wings, oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, so there's quite a few good ones. I don't like any of the sweet ones. Give yeah. me the spicy ones. Yeah. I don't even want the teriyaki. Keep it like mm-hmm. the smoke takery is okay. Pepperoni is okay. Dill pickle was really good. And then this, I think this black one is the 17, old number mm-hmm. 17 or whatever. Um, which they don't show because they got it tore down. Anyway, full disclosure my brother works for the company now. He did not at the time. <laughs> <laughs> But he liked his well, not- boss was into RC. He's like, dude, my boss watches your YouTube channel. <laughs> He's probably gonna reach out to you about doing some kind of sponsor thing. Well, now you got it in, Tony. Let's go. Todd some- Randall's here just to watch me rip bodies off of stuff. <laughs> so this one you're talking about here? Where just Those are like so this? wheat wheels. So just like most vehicles, this now has Velcro up front. And Ooh. bam, ba bam, how you would have expected it to be. <laughs> that ain't how it works, though, dude. I just realized we're almost at two hours. We need to shut That's, this down. I know. Do. I was gonna keep it short tonight. So was I. We didn't Thanks. talk ahead of time because I was late. Thanks a lot, Tony. Well, you know, we got to talk about stuff like cats, beef jerky. Cats and skid marks. Skid marks. The bike was pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> Thank you. That might have been the highlight of the show. If you are watching late, go back and see Pablo's bike. It's I'll like do some Huey videos Herman. this summer of me riding my bike with my hair that's long at the time. Yeah. Low rider Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. I know. It was funny. There was this, I'm Mexican, so I can say there's this Mexican kid walking. So I was. <laughs> so I'm riding my bike and he's walking towards me and I'm like, I just look at him. I'm like, what's up? <laughs> you can see him trying not to laugh. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. That's how it is. I need to get something so I can like pull a lever and drop some tungsten on the ground or, so it'll spark. I'm going. Be sweet. <laughs> Lame. He says you're just going to go watch cat videos. I'm it's probably going to watch cat videos as I go to sleep here in a minute. <laughs> now, you've got me jazzed up about them. I'm going to go search Maine Coons on uh, the IG. Uh, you're terrible. No, nope, I'm not. I'm pretty cool. Getting some tea wrenches right now. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like, this is the most important tea wrench I have. That because it, cause it's got the thing for the vanquish. Uh, because they're the weird eight millimeter ones or whatever. Did it come with the truck? Uh, did you get it somewhere? No, I think it came with the truck with the Phoenix. Nice. Also, he showed this. Show your bike again, real quick. People are talking bikes, it's right uh, above it. Hold on, boom! There it is. Tassels and everything. That's so good. It is good. (laughs) 
It looks because of the way the photos show you on the internet. It looks like you photoshopped the handlebars like to stretch them. No, there's like that repeating line. Do you see what I'm talking about though? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. On yep. that far one there, it looks like this repeated like staggered. Stamp and clone, stamp and clone. Yeah, Nope. They are literally up there while I'm writing. That's wild. Good stuff. All right. Well, we'll let you guys go. Yeah, we will. Have a happy Easter. Happy Easter. Have a good week. Did you hit the crush button some, yet? Crush some eggs with your RC cars and I'm gonna pictures. Blow up some peeps in the microwave. Oh. We should murder peeps with RC cars. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>